I'm going to demonstrate the capabilities of the Korg Nano Control 2 using Premiere Pro. If I hit play, you're going to see Premiere Pro start to play. If I hit rewind, you're going to see Premiere Pro start to rewind. The more times I hit rewind, the faster it does rewind. If I hit stop, if I hit fast forward, the more times I hit fast forward, the faster it's going to go, obviously. You'd expect that you know, when using a nonlinear editing system with a control surface. If I actually hit play and raise up the volume, now you're going to see the, the volume of this particular track come up. But I can raise any of the volumes, and you're going to see them take effect within the Premiere Pro software. If I hit solo, it's going to solo. If I hit mute, it's going to mute. If I on solo and on mute, it takes effect within the Premiere Pro software. At the same time, if I hit solo and I hit solo here as well, you're going to see the control surface lights up accordingly. So the interaction is working, you know, basically 100%. Like I said, if I, if I want to come through and, and fast forward, I can. If I want to hit play again, I can. If I, if I disable the solo, now you're going to see it take effect within, within the software. If I pan left, pan right, you know, everything's working as you'd expect. I do have the tracks or channels, however you want to call them, set to off. A lot of you that have audio and video editing software will know exactly what these options are for. I don't want it to actually record my keyframes as I'm sliding these up and down. Usually I'm just trying to get the, the volume level set between the different you know tracks or channels. I want to actually show with Premiere Pro if I enable record and then I also able record right here with the transport controls and then I actually hit play we are actually recording right now I don't really want to record this so I'm going to hit stop but here is the audio that we just recorded and we can actually drop and drag it to our timeline within Premiere Pro I now have Adobe Audition up and running and as you can see the faders when, when you hit them it goes to the, the appropriate track, which is kind of nice. Premiere Pro doesn't highlight what track you're, you're adjusting. And if you hit solo, you'll see it solo. If I hit mute, you'll, you'll see it mute. And it corresponds, like I said, by highlighting it with, with gray. So that works really well. If you do the pan left and pan right, you can see it take effect within Adobe's Audition. If we actually go to the mixer mode, you know, we can do the same thing. We can hit solo. We can hit mute. You couldn't expect better integration. Obviously, if I unmute and on solo, it takes effect with the actual Korg Nano Control 2 itself. If I hit solo, as you can see, solo, solo, all these are lighting up accordingly. Like I said, the volume, everything works 100%. And that's, you know, all you can really expect when you're using a nonlinear editing software program, whether, whether it's for audio or video. That's pretty much what you're going to get using the Korg Nano Control 2. The Korg Nano Control 2 user manual explains how to get the device to work with your particular audio editing software. As you can tell, it says settings for using the unit with digital audio workstation software. As you can see, they have Cubase there. And you actually unplug the USB cable, and then when you plug it back in, you have to press the set marker and the rewind button simultaneously. Then you go into device settings within Cubase, and you're going to select Mackie control. And you also have to make sure the Korg Nano control is selected for MIDI in and MIDI out. It's very similar in Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro. But here is what you have to do for Digital Performer as well as GarageBand and Logic. It also has Pro Tools and Live. And also you can see right there, Sonar from Cakewalk is also given. Premiere Pro and Audition actually were not in the user manual. I just had to guess. I think I used the same settings as Sonar. I think I had the Set Marker and the Record button pressed down simultaneously when I hooked up the USB cable. After watching this video, you should be able to make it work with Pro Tools, Cubase, Premiere, Audition, whatever software you're using. I'm actually going to demonstrate how to actually go into device settings of Premiere Pro, but Adobe Audition would be the exact same thing. Provided you 
had the right buttons pressed down when you connected the USB cable to the Korg Nano Control 2, then you have to go into your particular editing software and make the appropriate adjustments. With Premiere Pro and Audition, it's exactly the same thing. Within the menu bar of Premiere Pro, I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to scroll down to Preferences. And from there, I'm going to scroll down to Control Surface. If you had the buttons pressed down appropriately when you connected the USB cable, you should see the Mackie um, option here. You might have other control surfaces, so you might have more than just the Mackie, but you need to select the Mackie. You need to also hit Edit. You're going to have to hit Settings, and you're going to select the Mackie control again. You're going to go into Edit, and you want to make sure the Mackie control is selected for device type. And the Nano Control 2 is selected for the MIDI input and the MIDI output. That's really all there is to it. I just want to say that Cubase and Pro Tools have to have different buttons selected when you plug in the USB cable. I don't know if once it detects it, if that's the end of it and you're done, or if every time you switch between the programs, if you have to unplug the USB cable and plug it back in. When running Premiere Pro and Audition simultaneously, the Korg Nano Control 2 does get confused as to what software program it should be corresponding to. So you can really only run one program or the other, but not both at the same time. This video is just a demonstration and tutorial for the Korg Nano Control 2. I do have a review of the Korg Nano Control 2 and I'll try to provide a link.